Guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a watch in for review from Bernard H. Mayer, which is a 150-year-old watch uh, watchmaker. Uh, they first uh, started off making um, coins um, and then doing engraving on watches. I believe they even made Olympic coins for um, the 1936 Olympics as well. So very cool, a lot of history. Um, here's the box. This is how it'll come. And I will put a link in the description um, to their website. You guys can check them out. But uh, this one here is called the Power Master. It's kind of like their diver. Um, this is their certificate uh, of authenticity. Power Master, first blue. Um, it's got a kind of an SOS guide, like a quick guide to walk you through everything real fast to get it on your wrist. Um, this has got like the serial number. These are limited edition to 999 pieces. Um, they're very cool. They're Swiss made. They have uh, Salida movements. Um, very good watch. So we're going to go over that. But um, there's that. This has like a little cleaning cloth in it. And then here's the user manual. And then it's got a really nice uh, piano, piano black, gloss black um, box here. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of the old Breitling boxes. And let's put this back and get this watch off the pillow. So this is a big old watch, uh, but very nice, made very well. So we're going to get into that. In fact, look at that dial. That's another thing I really like about this dial. You see kind of those lines going down. Um, very cool look to this dial, a lot of texture to it. Um, just I don't know, very cool, ceramic bezel. So let me get the dimensions out of the way. I believe it's a 44 millimeter. I'm going to do the dimensions myself here and see where they're at. So um, the case, about 44, and then if you add these crown guards, you're coming in about 47, if you add these crown guards. And then tip to tip, you're coming in at 54.2, and then our thickness, Coming in about 12.4. So it's a big watch, but super thin. You know, a watch this size wears actually not too bad because of its thickness. So, uh, you know, you get this on the wrist, it, it, it feels and looks pretty good. So um, it is a, you know what, let's do the strap because I didn't see. Now this strap is kind of integrated in. It is a very nice soft rubber strap. That's a 20 mil uh, lug opening there. And that, does it taper? Let's see if it tapers much. Uh, about 18, 17, make it to about, yeah, about 17. So 20 to 17, so pretty good dimensions. Um, let's get into this. So you got that beautiful dial. Now this is blue. There's a few different colorways. I believe they got black, they have a green. Um, but uh, I will, like I, like I said, I'll have a link to, to the description in the description below, so you guys can go to their website and look at uh, what colorways they have and everything. But um, this is a gorgeous piece. So you got a ceramic bezel. You have a, a beautiful blue dial on this one. You have applied indices, uh, kind of six stick style hands. You have a red second hand there, and you have the date at the six o'clock. You have Swiss made down there at the six o'clock as well. And then that inner chapter ring, it's uh, zero to 60 there. So that's pretty cool. Now this is their diver. I think it's only rated to hundred meters, but you know, it's kind of a dressy diver, um, but uh, very nice size crown guards there to protect that crown, signed crown, fully brushed on the sides, polished on that angle there. And then let's see, is it polished up on top? No, I think it's just polished on that side and then polished up on the top here, on the front and on the back. So the sides and the top there. And very nice coin edged bezel, you can see that. And it's 120 clicks. And I might add it's very good, very clicky and lines up perfectly. Done extremely well. Look at that, and there's like no back play. So I'm very happy. The quality of this watch is very high. Um, I'm not sure what retail, I think they're around $2,000 to be honest, uh, retail. So I haven't heard of this brand up until now, but like I said, they've been around for 150 years. Um, their birthday, that was this year. So 150 years, which is great. So 1871, so <laughs> been around a long time. 
um, automatic. Now, what's inside this is a SW200 um, tried and true movement. It's like a 2824. Let's get this opened up. Now, this is a deployment clasp, kind of like a butterfly deployment clasp. Very nice rubber strap, soft, supple, very nice. There's your movement. 26 joules, 28,800 vibrations per hour. You can see it's numbered. This is 703 of 999, limited edition. Stainless steel, sapphire crystal, water resistant, Swiss made, 100 meters. So sapphire case back, clear case back there, and then sapphire on top. And also you have double AR coating. I believe it's on both sides. So very, very nice, um, highly legible. These hands, the indices, it actually has really good loom. I, I imagine it's C3 uh, Super Luminova. Um, very good you know, loom on this watch. But look at those angles. Very, very industrial looking uh, case, the way it's all you know, brushed and polished. In fact, it's brushed on the sides and then polished up on top there on both sides and on the bottom. There's really no hot spots. It doesn't feel like it's going to... You know, if you wear this thing, it's not going to really dig into you or anything. But very nice brushing, done very well, and the polishing is done nicely as well. So you have like these screws here, and I'm not sure if you take it apart like that. I really don't know, um, or if that's just the design of the case. But uh, they're in correct, the correct place on both sides of the case. So their attention to detail is also very good. Um, but this is just a beautiful piece. I mean, I'm, I'm never heard of the brand, but, um, I am, um, really impressed with what I see. Um, you got some perlage work under the clasp. It's very nice. This clasp, you got some holes there and then you have these little pins that they go right into. So right when you snap that in place, it pops right in. And then you just use that deployment, boom, it opens right up. So instead of like ball bearings or something, that's a, another approach at it. And um, it's done very well. But um, look at that movement. And this is a tried and true movement. Can't go wrong with that. Just beautiful piece. Let me put it on the wrist real quick. And see how it wears on my seven and a half inch wrist. And it is, like I said, it's a, it's a big watch. But, let's see, let's get this on right. There we go. So it's a big watch, but like I said, it wears nicely. So on my seven and a half inch wrist, if you look at how the lugs angle down like that, they slope down, because what were we were at 54. So very nice, it just kind of hugs the wrist. And then it's so thin, 12.4, that's a thin watch for the size case at 44. So just wears nicely. I, I thought it would be too big for my wrist, but it actually wears pretty nice. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Good looking piece. So let's do a loom shot real quick. And then we can close. Let's see here. So let's do this. All it needed was a uh, loomed bezel. I don't think it has a loomed bezel, but it's pretty good. Let's turn the lights out. So boom, there it is. I have some light kind of creeping in from the room uh, near me here, but very good green loom there. Done very well. So let me turn the lights back on. So this is the uh, Bernhard H. Mayer since 1971, or 1871, excuse me. But just look at that dial. All kinds of detail. And then like I said, applied indices. Just very good looking. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have all the details in the description below. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.